Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the security aspects uh, from the networking device uh, aspect. So we have like uh, Cisco router or switches. We configure some of the passwords there so that only authorized users can access uh, those devices. And today specifically, we are going to discuss about the encryption uh, of those passwords using some service which is uh, available in Cisco iOS. So we know that these routers and switches, we can access these routers and switches uh, using its uh, uh, command line interface. I mean, the command line interface can be accessed via console port and the same command line interface can also be accessed remotely using Telnet or Secure Shell. And we configure the password and because we want uh, that only authorized users can access it. So in this case, when we try to access that router or switch, we will be prompted on a screen like this, you see here. And then once we provide the password, then we can be given access to that device. Now, these are some of the commands by which we can configure the password at console port. And this is the password, for example, for Telnet station. Now, this is a way that we actually configure this password, for example, on the console port. And once we have configured this password, and then if we run the uh, running configuration, or we run the command that is show running config, then we can see the password there, like in, in a plain text. See here, so this was the password, for example, we configured this password, and if we go, uh, if we run the show running config, we can see this password. And anyone who has got access to the configuration file, because this configuration file, maybe we can save at some other uh, server machines, or we can also print out this configuration fi uh, file, or someone who's just sitting with us, or just, they can, I mean, they can get information about this password. So, Exactly in the same way, if we uh, want to set some password on privilege mode, privilege exec mode, then we have this command as enable password and then we can use any password here. And again, if we run the show running config configurations, this enable password is also visible because that is again in plain text. And so we can read it. Now, our purpose is to hide that password. This should not be visible to anyone. So for that, we uh, use some encryption technique and the password, we have a service that is password service encryption. If we use this command like here, so that command can be used to encrypt those password in, in our configurations. So the password means the console level password or telnet or maybe enable password, they all can be encrypted using this service by activating this service. So once we have uh, use that command and if we again run this show running configurations, we can see this password is no more in plain text, but this password has been converted into some something different so that has been encrypted. And this actually seven shows that this is the encryption type. And this seven shows that that password has been encrypted using this service password encryption. But Unfortunately, there are many tools available on the internet that, it, that can be used to decode that password. It means just if we have this sheet or if we know these numbers, we can use those online tools and we can come back to our original password. Let's see what uh, tools are there. Just uh, I want to say that this is only uh, for learning purposes and let's see what tools are available. As I mentioned that there are many tools available to crack that passwords, for example, again, this is for only for learning. So you can see here, uh, they, this is a password which has been encrypted using service password encryption command. And let's say the words, this was the uh, encrypted password. And if we use this value and copy and paste this value here, and then we just try, click there. So crack password, it can give us the plain text password. For example, in our case, if we see that what is the um, encrypted thing for newbie, so we will copy and paste that thing and we will be able to recover that password using this tool. So this is the weakness. So now to avoid that weakness, we can actually uh, encode those passwords. 
you can encode the enable passwords using some hashes so hash is a mathematical formulation a mathematical formula by which we can encode our passwords so if you use just this simple command as enable password and then whatever password we use so we know that this password will be in plain text everyone can read it and now instead of this password if we use this command that is enable secret so with this command what we will be doing so it means we will be using some hash we will be using some mathematical formulation to calculate some hash value so this is the password which we are setting so it means that this password is encrypted and encryption which we are using that is encryption type is 5 so hash is hash is basically what we are repeating again and again so we are using some password so for example this is the password and then we use that password as an input to some mathematical formulation that is hash function so hash function actually transforms our password into some fixed length value and then whatever is the value that value will basically be saved in these router uh, in, in cisco routers or switches so hash value will be saved not the actual password so this means with this command this means we are going to encode our password using a mathematical formulation that is hash function and specifically the hash function you will be using this mathematical or this algorithms that is md5 messages message digest file and this when we uh, run the show running config this will be shown or this will be indicated using five so for instance here we see here so instead of so when we run show running configuration after this command and if we run show running configuration we will be saying the hash value here at this point and instead of seven which indicates that uh, the password has been encrypted using service password encryption so instead of seven we will see a value of five and five indicates that at this time this has been actually uh, encoded using md5 now let me get it we have the same command the same function can be enabled using this command here we actually specify that algorithm type that is md5 we explicitly mentioned that now we are using this md5 to encode our passwords rest of the things remain same so these both of the commands mean same so here this is you see this bracket decades that this is optional so this means that we are using md5 to encrypt now still we have even more strong i mean they have we have some stronger way to uh, encode those passwords and that is a mathematical i mean uh, algorithm that is sha256 so now we have a different um, way by which we can calculate the hash value that is sha256 and that is stronger than md5 and for that we have enable algorithm type and this is the command and this is the actual password which we are going to configure so this means we are using this algorithm to calculate the hash value for our passwords and in show running configuration this will be indicated by this so this is means the encryption type of 8 means this time we are using this algorithm and we also have some other way other method that is this by using this scrypt so again we will be using the same algorithm that is sha256 and this will be shown as this encryption type of 9 so they will be using the same algorithm to calculate the hash value but they actually differ in the way they implement this so it means the same how but how they calculate how is in how they are going to calculate the, the way uh, the method by which this has been implemented in this uh, in the in the calculation of hash value that is different so this is different and this is also different so in this way we have these uh, three different methods to encode the password using hash value so this i mean if we go from this direction to this, this this direction it means these are this is the strongest one okay so this was some overview so that was uh, for only for the password but sometimes we also uh, create a local database of username and their associated passwords.
So in that case, we will also be giving the username as, as well as password when we will be trying to log in into the IOS of some uh, networking devices, router or switch. In this case, we are we can actually create the username. So again, here as well, we can use the same encoding to encrypt the password, um, not encrypt, but the encode the password. So we can use the hash value of MD5 if we just use this one. So if we don't use this secret command, it means this password will be stored as a plain text in Cisco router or switch. But if you use secret, it means this time that password will be encrypted. And then we also have the this command. So this means same. You see, this is means same. This is optional. So both of them will be using MD5. And in the same way, we have this algorithm type SHA-256. In this case, this password will be saved. Uh, as a hash value which will be calculated using this algorithm and the same way we also have SER um, script method to save our password so not the password but the hash value of the password so the so same thing can also be used when we are creating the local database for the username and passwords so that was a uh, general discussion about some encoding of the passwords hopefully this would be helpful in securing the network devices and i hope this was a bit helpful for you and thank you hope to see you in some other video